we rehearsed quite a bit on this. And so when we got to the set, we knew quite a bit. And so we were ahead of the game um, at that point. And uh, I'd say that Kenny, uh, not just for his truth of what's going on, but he'll come to the actors and make sure that we give our truth. It's about a fellow who works as a janitor in Boston who has to go home because his brother passes away and he's given guardianship of his 16-year-old nephew. Brother played by Kyle Chandler, nephew played by Lucas Hedges. The initial idea was uh, brought to me by Matt Damon and John Krasinski. I wrote the script for, took about three years, I'd say, and um, John was gonna be in it, and Matt was gonna direct it, then Matt was gonna be in it and direct it, then Matt was not direct it and be in it, and then he didn't end up being in it, but he produced it, and I directed it, and Casey's in it, <laughs> which uh, all happened rather gradually, but uh, I think all for the best. Something that I found with, with Kenny is that I, I, I think he cares more uh, about the story than, than any other director I've ever worked with. And he, fo he fought for, for me in, in every scene I did. He's always thinking, he's always, he's always moving, you know, nothing. I don't think anything's ever good enough. That's There's always something that could be missed, but right. you're always thoughtful of it. That's my guess. I, I, I'm not gonna let you talk. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I actually don't, I don't, th I'm not, but I, I don't actually don't, the last thing I don't think is true. I, I really love when the actors hit their stride and are doing great work that I didn't think of and couldn't possibly have imagined. And, and I'm, I'm lucky in that I'm able to enjoy the fact that people are doing really well. And I want, you know, there's, point, there, you know, you always want to reach a certain point, but then very often the actors will go beyond that and that's when things get really exciting. And then I'm very happy. It was rewarding, let's put it, it that way. Fun. It was uh, I can't compliment him because he won't let me, so I didn't no, just say I, it was I rewarding. Appreciate, no, no, I remember. No, I was, hey, I, that's I, I all right. Complimented. I've only said one thing during the whole interview, and I thought I'd be nice and heck. No, it was really nice what you said, and I agree <laughs> with it. Because you want the actors to be happy with what they're doing, that's why they're there, to make your story come to life, which it doesn't without them. And uh, I have to say, Casey was very helpful, actually encouraging me. We had a very tight shoot, and it was difficult at times, and Casey was very helpful in making sure that I remembered that we were there to shoot the movie and not just finish out the days. For most writers who write as well as Kenny, it's there, it's, it is other directors who want to direct them, and the, it always ends up being okay, because there's so much there to find, even if they didn't write it themselves. But I can't imagine anybody else directing Kenny's writing. Every time you think you understand it, you, then he says, gives you some other little bit of direction. If it just probes a little bit deeper somehow or makes it easier to do something or gives you some new perspective that is totally different than what you had in your head and, and works in a different way, whether it's better or not, often it is better. You hope that people like Kenny are, are able to keep making the movies that they want to make and are, there are people out there who are willing to finance them because those are the stories that kind of justify the whole swirling industry of all everything that's happening here is because there are there's stuff being made that it's meaningful to people.